What's going on guys, this is Jack from wikijackson.com and today we have a review of the Vengeance M95 Performance Gaming Mouse. In my possession I have the Arctic White version to go along with my Stormtrooper case. This mouse is fairly expensive but well worth it at a strong $79.99. It features 15 programmable buttons which includes the left and right click. Along the left side of the mouse there are 9 programmable macro keys, which is a bit overkill, however if you play a lot of spam ability type games this should not be too much for you. I did find the buttons to be a little oddly placed as it can get pretty difficult to reach the top row of the buttons and the back buttons. Furthermore, after a few weeks of using it, I found myself not even using the back buttons that much. Nevertheless, it is still convenient to know that I have multiple options of programmable macro keys. As you can see, Corsair decided to create a textured, plastic material grip on both sides, which is surprisingly very nice to the touch. Looking on the left side once more, there are 6 LED dots to indicate the specific profile that the mouse is on. Corsair has designed quite a versatile tool for this mouse. There are hundreds of options to program the mouse buttons. Moving along to an aerial view of the mouse, notice the glossy finish. Glossy looks great and Corsair did a great job with the design. However, I have noticed that this material picks up dust incredibly easily. It makes me want to wash my hands every time I use the mouse and dust the area around my desk constantly. It is not so much a complaint as an informative gesture to you if you are considering purchasing this mouse. The top left of this mouse includes two programmable arrow buttons that have blue LEDs just like the dots on the side. These buttons can be programmed to do anything that is convenient to the consumer. I have decided to change them to my profile configurations on Windows 7. This mouse also features an 8200 DPI laser sensor, which is extreme overkill considering I do not usually go over 5000 DPI. However, it is great to know that my mouse is tracking incredibly accurately, and if I ever want to upgrade my DPI settings, I definitely can. The middle of the mouse features an awesome white Corsair logo LED. It would have been nice to be able to program this light considering the high price tag. Regardless, I think Corsair did a great job with the implementation because it looks great. Now note, this is in fact a white LED, we just cannot get the white balance correctly for the life of us because our camcorder will either want to go white mouse or the white LED. It's a little bipolar. Now the scroll wheel is actually quite smooth and sturdy. I have not yet found any problems with it thus far. Unlike most mice, Corsair created about a centimeter gap in between the left and right mouse button. Which is good because the left and right mouse button do not overlap each other, which has been the case for a few SteelSeries mice that I've seen. Moving on up the middle of the mouse, there is a programmable button which can usually be associated as a DPI setting switch. But Corsair's program allows for any command you would like, which is awesome to know, but I just keep it as a DPI switch anyway. Underneath everything, Corsair featured PTFE glide pads which create very low friction between the bottom of the mouse and the mouse pad. Corsair has also implemented an aluminum unibody which creates elegant surface tracking atop my SteelSeries mouse pad. The laser sensor even has the choice for how fast you would like the response time to be, which is pretty strange because I found it a little confusing, unless I'm looking at this the wrong way. But why would someone want to increase the delay between their mouse and their computer? It just doesn't really make sense to me. The mouse also comes with a threaded cable, which is very pleasing because it prevents tangles that could possibly occur. In the few weeks of having the mouse, I have found that the M95 is very comfortable in playing many different games for hours at a time and editing video. I have never had my hand hurting after using it because it truly is comfortable. The Vengeance M95 is a hell of a mouse and I have been very pleased with its performance throughout my experience of using it. Sure, it may be a little expensive for a mouse, but if you feel that you would truly use many programmable buttons while maintaining beautiful ergonomics, this mouse is for you. It is highly accurate, the colors of the mouse have great contrast, and best of all, it matches my Corsair 500R. Anyway guys, that's the review of the M95. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please be sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe for more content like this. We really appreciate your guys' sub subscriptions, comments, and likes because it all helps out with the feedback and it helps us to bring better content to you. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.